December 13th, 2017. Thank you for joining me at Evolutionary Energy Arts once again. We're looking at a photo of Dr. Masaru Imoto, and he is, well, if you haven't heard of him, you really should have, because he, he conducted some famous experiments that show the power of thought, the power of words, the power of intention, and it was all about working with water. By holding the intention of peace towards water, by thinking, speaking, and acting with the intention of peace towards water, water can and will bring peace to our bodies and to the world. That's a quote from Dr. Yamoto, uh, who passed away a few years back. So the test he did, how was the research carried out? He developed a technique using a very powerful microscope in a very cold room along with high-speed photography to photograph newly formed crystals of frozen water samples. Not all water samples crystallize, however. Water samples from extremely polluted rivers directly seem to express the state water is in. Dr. Masaru Emoto discovered that crystals formed in frozen water, they reveal changes when specific concentrated thoughts are directed towards them. He found that the water from clear springs and water that has been exposed to loving words show brilliant, complex, colorful snowflake patterns. In contrast, polluted water or water exposed to negative thoughts, forms, incomplete, and asymmetrical patterns will emerge with dull colors. And it's really, it's amazing work. So if you see this here, you could see the pattern that develops over here on top left with heavy metal music. The pattern to you make me sick, I will kill you. To the actual name Adolf Hitler. And then below, thank you, love and appreciation, and Mother Teresa. Very, very interesting. So after seeing water react to different environmental conditions, pollution, and music, Dr. Emoto and colleagues decided to see how thoughts and words affect the formation of untreated distilled water crystals using words typed onto paper by a word processor and taped on the glass bottles overnight. The same procedure was performed using the names of deceased persons. The waters were then frozen and photographed. So even if it wasn't said verbally, the actual letters, again, carry the intention or the program of what it is that's written down. And it affects the water in just the same way. So there again, written words, the vibrations from, from spoken words, they affect the water the same way. Very, very interesting experiments. And here you can see some more examples. And you can see uh, polluted water over here and some other negative things like the statement, you fool, you make me sick. Fujiwara Dam water before prayer. And then look just to the right, Fujiwara Dam water after prayer. Spring water, thank you, Beethoven's music, love and appreciation, so we could see the pattern. So if we doubt the power of our thoughts and our words and even our written words, we are doing ourselves a great disservice. Um, there is tremendous power in that. There is power in everything, everything we say, everything we think, everything we do. You remember in the uh, Bible, Jesus quote, you know, you've heard you shall not covet your neighbor's wife and all. And then he says, if you even think you're, you're doing the same thing, if you even think about it, you've already sinned, you know, so you've already done the same thing because the thoughts send out vibrations. Everything is vibrations, just as Einstein and Tesla had spoken about. The photo on the left is of an ice crystal frozen from severely polluted water. The photo on the right is from the same water refrozen after having been blessed by Dr. Emoto. 
one can plainly see that we do not only have the ability to heal ourselves, but the earth as well. For our bodies are anywhere between 65 and, and 80 so something percent water, depending on how old we are and how well hydrated. As we are, as we age, we basically dry out some. Um, but we have the power to heal ourselves with thought and with word. And there's a reason why these things work. And as Einstein had said, it all boils down to the fact that everything is energy. Everything is energy. And Tesla said, think in terms of wavelength, vibration, frequency. That's the nature of the universe. That's the nature of reality. Things, even things like a desk or like a stone wall, they're still vibrating. And in reality, even a rock wall is still mostly vacuum and empty. It might seem strange to us because it feels solid and heavy, but the reality is it's a vibrating mass of energy, as is water, as is our bodies, as is everything. And we all vibrate at certain frequencies. Here we see tap water in Shinagawa, Tokyo, and the same tap water with chi, soul, and spirit tape to it and this is basically what they did just these simple labels and just showing the words to water can have the same effect as the vibrations of the spoken word pretty amazing stuff so we have to be very careful <laughs> with what we think and what we speak and we have to be aware of how we are manipulated by the powers that be into thinking and behaving certain ways. One thing that Western doctors do so often is they diagnose people. Oh, Mrs. Jones, I'm so sorry. You have a certain type of cancer and you only have three to six months. And saying that, it's just the same as putting a spell on them. They're doing the same thing. Now, if Mrs. Jones was told by a different doctor, Oh, Mrs. Jones, you're fine. It's really nothing. You'll be fine. You'll be feeling better by the end of the week. There's a good chance she probably would feel better by the end of the week. Because so much of everything is our mindset and what we believe. And... This is how we have been manipulated, and this is a big part of how the half a 1% control the 99.5%. We know they do it through many ways, but they understand all this, and they've understood this for thousands of years. It's been passed down. These are the type of things that have been passed down in the mystery traditions, in the secret societies. But now everything is, is coming out into the open. Interesting how angel and soul are a ring, a circle. Kind of pointing towards eternity. Now eternal looks like just the beautiful snowflakes at this harmony and truth and wisdom, compassion and thank you. So water carries our thoughts and our prayers as you yourself are water. No matter where you are, your prayers will be carried to the rest of the world. And there have been many, many experiments done showing the power of prayer, and especially the power of prayer in a group. And it doesn't even have to be prayer. I mean, it's just truly its intention. So it doesn't matter if you view it as praying. It doesn't matter if you think it's just a mantra. It doesn't matter if you label it an affirmation. It doesn't matter if you label it a spell or anything like that. You can label it white magic, black magic, whatever you want to label it. It's all intention. It's all the same stuff. So it's really about focused intention. And so when more than one person starts focusing their intention, it becomes very powerful. And when so many people 
believe in prophecies that are written in their holy books that are ones of you know self-fulfilling destruction and wrath and condemnation it becomes self-fulfilling just look at the first you know few verses in the bible once we get past uh, creating things and it's all about original sin and the fact that you know we are born in sin which puts a, a feeling of guilt into the person and it conditions them to feel guilty and less than like there is something inherently wrong in them and that is such a negative negative thing and that shows you a religion of control take the catholic church you have to go to the priest to absolve for your sins so you have to go to another human who could absolve you of your sins and the whole thought that the pope is you know the representative of christ on earth when he's just another human and so many of the priests you know have done horrible things to little kids you know and because of their repression of their natural uh, emotions and, and instincts so it's just ridiculous we, we need to as a society become aware of how we've been manipulated and we need to take back control for ourselves realize that we can heal ourselves we could heal the planet too we could really achieve anything we wanted to if we put our minds to it so how could we do this well again it has to start at a local level and a small level and just like-minded people the community that we're developing here at evolutionary energy arts with our discussions and our talks you know that type of thing you know connecting with other people of like mind i hate to focus on a lot of negative um, topics but at the same time we can't have our head in the sand and not realize when things are being manipulated around us and not realize that we're being led into another war or you know all the things conspiracies that have been done on humanity you know from 9-11 to you know you name it there's been so many time and time again and you know it's it's just so easy to see through it once we start to look so many people think that conspiracy nuts are just crazy wackos when in reality you know some of us might be a little bit over the top but in reality we're just better educated it's pretty simple you know we've just looked deep enough long enough into all the different things all the different possibilities to see logical conclusions on what's going on so the water tests that Dr. Emoto did definitely point to the inherent power that we have within us, which that doesn't bring money, you know, to the pharmaceutical industry. So that's not going to be put out into the public, you know, by the pharmaceutical uh, industry or any sort of lobbyists. They want to put all that down. That's why there's so much negativity from mainstream medical about some of the alternative uh, possibilities alternative healing is is growing in leaps and bounds and a lot of times all you even need is just you know a, a trip to the massage therapist a trip to the chiropractor or just maybe to start taking up tai chi or qigong or yoga for yourself maybe just an adjustment in your diet and an adjustment in your outlook will do it instead of self-medicating with toxins they're going to create more problems so we have so much power and that's what these experiments show we have tremendous power within us and more people have to wake up and realize that the power they have in their own minds to create a positive reality instead of a negative reality that the powers that be the cabal the illuminati want to have because they want a world full of dissension unity will take away and threaten their power if the 99 percent unifies it's a huge threat to the world that they have where they have their own 
personal little playground to do everything that they want to do while others are suffering and many are still starving in countries. So we have tremendous power. Dr. Emoto's experiments definitely illustrate that and there's so much more than that that we could pull out and show how powerful we are. So many other prayer experiments and other things along those lines that we'll be investigating as we go along down this journey. So if you found this interesting, definitely give it a thumbs up, share with friends, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and join our fast-growing family. I look forward to speaking with you all again very soon. Till then, take care.